Hi, I'm Trevor Conkergood, the software manager for RNK Distributing. I'd like to welcome you to the videos for the update uh, to the Floriani software called Build 3776, being released in June of 2021. Um, we're sure you're going to love all all of the enhancements and updates. There are things that are just for FTCU and there are things that were for, you know, Floriani software in general and will affect all of the softwares. But generally speaking, um, you're going to enjoy enhancement to the applique tool. It's now easier than ever to add any color you want to the background of your appliques. Um, you can move the point with which you rotate your designs and shapes around. And so the ability to move the rotation point should sure to be popular. We've enhanced the wordplay tool to allow you to have even more control over the wordplay tool. We've um, added a brand new automatic digitizer called the advanced auto digitizer and you still have the original one but there's a whole new advanced auto digitizing tool that's been added um, there's a new preset for the run stitch tool called the back stitch and the back stitch is going to be surely your favorite nice bold style of run stitch um, probably the coolest thing in this latest update is the new ripple fill effect and you're sure to love the new stitch effect and so go ahead and watch all of of the other videos that accompany this one that go over the new features of build 3776 there, these are some things that I'd like to tell you now that are um, just general things that affect all versions of the Floriani software and so for example we've updated our formats once again and this time we've been able to include the PES 11 and the VP44 formats and so if those are formats that matter to you then that's great we now have them included in our software um, um, we've updated the ability so that when you're using your open and browser windows that if you've used variegated thread that it'll be displayed correctly in your browsing window um, we've updated the keyboard shortcuts for the digitizing tools if you use the digitizing toolbox the keyboard short cuts will work with all versions of the Floriani software um, same thing when you're using guidelines in the design if you create any uh, you know like special guidelines in your design when you save the design the guidelines will be saved with the design so that when you reopen it the guidelines will also be where you left them and probably one of the coolest things we did was make it so that it will now remember where you put and it actually saves your backdrops with the design let me explain I'm just going to click on new workspace or a new empty design and then click on the load backdrop tool that's here on the left hand side and it allows me to browse through the computer and select some kind of a backdrop and it will um, come onto your screen and now you can while you have this backdrop selected you can move its location to anywhere in the workspace that you want to you can use a corner handle to resize it or transform it using the properties box making it darker or lightening it um, so these are things that you can do to enhance your image and you always have been um, if you click on the empty workspace uh, no, actually, if you click on the select tool, you will let go of the image. And once you've let go of that image, it simply becomes part of your backdrop and it won't be affected unless you, and if you want to make changes to the image, you need to click on the load backdrop tool again. And so notice when I select it, um, click on that tool, my backdrop becomes selected. Well, we've made it so that if you digitize a design now, when you save your design, this backdrop will be saved alongside of the design, which is great. Um, and so we've also added the ability to change the backdrop or remove the backdrop that way if you save if you open one and then you want to get it out of there, you can also have it gone. So right click over top of the design. Um, over top of the image and then you can choose load backdrop to get a new backdrop in your design and so changing the backdrop that's in your design um, and right click over top to delete the backdrop so if you finish digitizing a design and you no longer need the backdrop as part of the design you can remove it and so those are enhancements to the software that it now saves your backdrops with the designs which is very popular for people that digitize artwork and afterwards we want to come back and make edits well now the artwork will be saved right with the, the design and at the size and location that you placed it so those are great enhancements that are general enhancements for the overall software um, we we're just sure that you're going to love 
all of the enhancements of the new build, which is, of course, 3776, released in June 2021. Thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed the other videos, and bye for now.